Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a fun little get ready with me video. Just random talking about products. Um, and you can watch me do this to my face. A little pop of color. Um, I played with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Palette Volume 1 today. So if you want to come hang out with me while I get ready, then keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do obviously is I'm going to prime my face. So I'm using the Tatcha Cell Canvas. This is like the third or fourth one that I've bought. I'm completely out of my other one. Um, I just finished it up the other day. I did not remember how much packaging comes with this. I totally forgot that even that little scooper even came with it too. Um, but you can tell it's luxurious and definitely worth the $54 investment for it because of all of the shit that comes in the packaging. <laughs> Alright, so I used to use this like scooper thing and I, now I just use my finger. So that's what we're going to do. Also, my face is super, super dry right now because um, I got that peel done. Uh, so if you see any flakiness, I'm really hoping that this makeup stays on today and doesn't like start to flake off on me. That's very possible as well. So I'm using like extra of this primer because I know it makes my skin feel so soft because it's like made by a skincare line, a great skincare line, which is like why it's the bomb.com. Uh, but I use extra of this when I'm dry. So that's not like, that's not a normal amount that like the average person would use. Okay, now I'm gonna do my brows, which probably this is something that I will just cut out because <laughs> brows are kind of boring to watch. Um, I'll just kind of show you how I do like one, one brow. Um, so obviously I'm using my ABH brow, dip brow. I totally forgot what that was called for a second. Mine's very dry. Sometimes you can like keep it for a while. If they get too dry, then I would just say throw them out. I definitely need a new one, but it works for now. Um, and then I just kind of go on the top and trace that line. And then I do the bottom and trace that line. If they meet. I do this right in here and I'm constantly like brushing them and then I just lightly fill in these gaps. I just wanted to show you guys that even though this is not really a tutorial, it's like a get ready with me. I just wanted to show you guys that because some of you like might be curious about how I do my brows and then I just lightly like fill in this and then go and brush it out. Um, and obviously then I clean it up with concealer because I look, this looks like a dirty brow right now, but. She'll be pretty in a second. Okay, so now that my eyebrows are done and they are cleaned up, um, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair to prime my lids for eyeshadow. Now I am mad with that whole like Morphe fiasco. I should have gotten the P. Louise base while I was there. I'm kicking myself now for that because I would have loved to do this look and like finally get gotten to play with that eyeshadow primer but fuck it I remember that when I got home I was like no I should have remembered the eyeshadow base at least but you know it is what it is so I'm hoping to buy that soon I know I've been saying that it's like an old product now it's you know not even like really like a thing anymore like uh, the hype is like dwindled down about it I feel like even though everybody uses it um I just would be jumping on the bandwagon very late at this point. And then today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Norvina Palette Volume 1. Um, this I have not played with yet. I played with the other, I think like two I did a look with. Yeah, and then I used like one or two shades of um, Volume 3. I bought all of these like in a panic because they said on Sephora Limited Edition. And I guess they're keeping the collection. I don't know if they're just keeping like one, volume one, or if they're keeping all of them. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I mean, that's amazing, but I bought them all in panic because I thought they were all limited edition. So I haven't actually played with this yet. I just kind of took pictures of this. Um, so I'm really excited to dive in. So I'm thinking about going in with like kind of a, 
I don't know if I want to do purple or pink yet. Okay, so I never do purples, which is why I kind of want to do purples, but these colors down here are screaming to me, but I think I'm going to mix it up and go against my best judgment, and I'm going to go in with a purple. So I think the first color I want to go in with is this A2, this shade right here. Wow, that is bright. Okay, this is going to be fun. So I'm very, very happy about the response so far that I have gotten from the video that I just posted. Um, I was having tons of anxiety about, about even posting that video, but your guys' responses made me like feel way better about it. Um, so thank you to everybody that watched that. <sighs> I'm trying to think. What else a bit can talk about? Guys, this is so pigmented. Okay, I also have to say, when Jacqueline Hill said that the, the Anastasia shadows were never a favorite of hers, for a second I unstand, and then I was like, let's be honest, I live for this bitch. However, I was very shocked about that. What do you guys think about the Anastasia shadows? Because, like, obviously, you know I'm a whore for it. Um, I don't know why I love the company so much. I really don't. However, I'm in too deep now. So, like, what do you guys think about, about the company? Okay, guys. Okay, I'm going to go in with A3. That's the shadow right next to this one. Uh, we're gonna right in here. And we're gonna do a halo. Yes, a halo. She has not done one of these in a hot minute. So since we're stepping out of our comfort zone, still having purple in our eyes, which I also never do, we might as well go for the whole thing, you know? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Those shadows kind of look exactly the same. Just a little. I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. They kind of look exactly the same. So don't they? Or am I crazy? Who knows? Alright, I'm taking B1, which is a light bright shadow and I'm gonna put this guy I'm gonna blend this out with that guys I didn't want to do a tutorial I wanted this to be a get ready with me but I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you guys oh good news ladies and gentlemen I have a giveaway coming up soon yes yes I do I think you guys would be very excited um, nothing crazy, but I just want to do something since I usually do giveaways and I don't think last year I did one around the holidays, but I love doing them, so I'll do one this year. <laughs> so excited. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this, like, black shade. I'm just going to darken this up because I can't really get that shadow to, like, be as dark as I wanted it to be. So we're going to play with this and hope for the best. I'm going to have to switch brushes here soon. Yeah, that's definitely more the vibe that I wanted, but I need a small brush. Yeah, see, that's kind of like the shade that I wanted. I guess I shouldn't be mad. I guess I should have just figured I needed to mix a darker shade in there. I just thought I would get like that darker black e purpley like that smoky color from using just a regular old purple now granted guys i don't use purples ever hardly ever hardly ever so i wouldn't have known that but she knows she knows now you know that's all that matters do you guys have any fun trips planned for the holidays? Like, are you guys doing anything, like, fun? I don't know. Like, what it, what trips are you guys going on? Do you guys go on? Do you guys like traveling? Do you like trips? I don't know. I'm a big trip type of person. 
could have sounded terrible to some people. <laughs> I'm really excited because my birthday is coming up. Oh, let me tell you, I'm using this A1. And so far, she is A1. She is A1. Look at that. Um, so my birthday is coming up in... From today, 10 days. <laughs> um, 23. I'm old as dirt, but that's fine. Um, and... I was so excited because, well, I was really sad because I didn't think that I was going to get to go to New York for my birthday. I usually go every year. Gage and I will go. We've gone the past four years. And um, I was really sad because I didn't think we were going to be able to go. However, I got a little drunk one night and I was like, Gage, we're going to New York. And he was like, what? I was like, yeah, I booked it. <laughs> so we're actually going on a cruise with my parents. That's what we're like doing to celebrate Christmas this year um, is we are going on a cruise instead of doing gifts, which I'm like way more excited about than like actual gifts, you know what I mean? Um, so we are going on a cruise in January, like that first Saturday in January to the second Saturday in January. And then the Saturday before we leave for the cruise like in December, I think it's like the 27th or something like that. Gage and I are going to New York and I'm so excited because although it's after Christmas, like I feel like the Christmas spirit still lingers, like the holiday spirit's still there. And yeah, and if you know me, you know I love, 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 love New York. Alrighty. Yeah, I missed big old fluffy lashes. The problem is I normally wear glasses, okay? So like oh glasses check no no they're not touching so so far so good let's throw some foundation on now and i am using estee lauder double wear foundation i just feel like this is such like a pretty foundation no matter what condition your skin is in like your skin could be at its best, super, super healthy, um, no breakouts and like it will look flawless on you or your skin can be like at its worst and you could have like really bad acne and it'll still look flawless on you. And it's just one of those, it's one of those products. So we got another cat because I'm a crazy cat lady if you haven't been able to tell from now. Um, so now we have three cats. Um, our baby's name, she's a legit baby. Like she is, I can hear her crying right now. She is two or three months old. We haven't like actually taken her to the vet yet. Um, we have to take her soon. She was abandoned by her owners outside of Gage's work. And then we're like, well, we gotta save her. Um, yeah, she is a deer. Her name is Chanel because she's fancy. And she is kind of funny because she always hangs out in my beauty room. Which is why I'm like, you deserve that name, girlfriend. You deserve that name. But she looks just like Bean, which is the cutest thing. Like, it literally looks like she is Bean's child. Which, they're not. Bean's fixed. But... It's just the cutest thing. And one of his coworkers took home her sister. I didn't even know that she had a sister. And I was like, Gage, it's probably best you didn't tell me that. Because, like, you now we would have had four cats. But no, not yet. <laughs> oh, she is looking snatched. My favorite part, what, like, let me know what your favorite part of the makeup routine is. Personally, mine is um, putting concealer on. I just think concealer makes... Everything looks so much better. Like when I'm doing my clients, like I don't bring foundation up under their eyes. And if they have like any dark circles or anything like that, like you still see it, um, obviously with foundation on. But the second, the second that you put on the concealer, it's like, bam, new woman. You guys know I have not given up my Fenty matchstick. I finally
finally got another one. Like, I finally got a new one. After what? Two years? I don't remember if I, like, told you guys. I purchased, like, the second one ever. Like, I feel like that's a big deal. Because it lasted me so long. It lasted me since the, like, Fenty, um brand actually dropped like the beauty brand actually dropped because that was when I first got it okay it's just super random how many of you have ever tried yoga like how many of you do yoga and or have tried it have gone to classes tried to teach yourself I'm just so curious because I really, really want to start doing it. I think it will really help with like my anxiety. I think it will really help with um, my stress because I carry a lot of stress. And like not necessarily my own stress. I carry a lot of people's stress um, and stress for a lot of different reasons, which is one reason that my skin started breaking out really bad. Um, I know that. And then, like, it has, like, made me gain weight as well. I know that just from, like, seeing myself. I just know, like, I put on weight because of stress. Like, I didn't look a certain way when I was, like, a lot more relaxed and stuff like that. And then recently, I've been more stressed out. So, I just feel like I gained a little bit more weight. Although, like, I will like try and eat as healthy as I can or like the amount that I eat. I don't know. It's a whole big thing. But anyhow, um, I really want to get into doing yoga because I feel like that'd be really good for me. Um, but how many of you guys like have tried it and like enjoy it or what do you do? Like how'd you get into it? I know a lot of people say classes. Like I know a lot of people um, will go to classes and things like that. And that's how they get into it. But um, I'm curious to see if any of you guys have started it at home and then gone to classes or whatever. Or if none of you even do yoga. I'm just sound like a crazy person. <laughs> She's going to bronze. And I'm using nothing but the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. Guys, I am obsessed to say the least. Like, how can you not? How can you not be? Like... I bought this, well, you guys know, you guys know I did a haul like last December. Last December I brought the, bought this bronzer. Guys, product check, still have not even looked like I'm close to pan. And this will be one of those products that I wear on my face every single day, every day. Just like the Fenty Matchstick, like even if I'm not really wearing foundation or if I'm not really wearing like makeup like I will always always bronze with this I'm obsessed I've got my friend Jackie to buy this because it's like girlfriend you need this in your life I love it because it's like the perfect shade um for somebody like me but it also it's like buildable for somebody a shade or two darker than me which Jackie is like she's not my shade at all but like, it just, I don't know. It's just so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna be basic. Anastasia, this is a trio. Pink Passion is the name of this trio. Do they also make this? That's my real question. I'm gonna use Rose, this shade here. These are so freaking pigmented, I know. Oh my God, you guys, don't tell Kate. If you guys tell Gage, we're done. We're done. We're done. He will never notice. He will never, ever notice. We keep this between us, guys. He doesn't watch my videos. He won't know. <laughs> he won't know. <laughs> Anywho, I know I'm going to regret how much blush I put on this brush. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to regret it. Um, do they even make these trios anymore? <laughs> I don't think they do. Okay, we're actually gonna start talking. I really don't think that they do make these anymore, which I'm kind of like confused about. What do they make instead? Oh, they make the quads. That's right, I use the quads like every day. Um, 
but I like this size. I don't know. I like this size. So I only ever really use this one. These two kind of freak me out. I'll use this one if I'm a little tanner, but like for the most part, I use this rose shade because it's like the prettiest blush for my complexion, I think. Highlight. Ooh, ooh, what are we going to use? What are we going to use? I think we're going to use, I know, we can't do something this like gorge and not use an intense highlighter, so glaze donut. I know, sue me. Okay. Now, let's find a tiny brush. Yikes. Okay, this little guy will do. Yes, we live for that. We live for that highlighter. Yes. Guys, gorge. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Now we gotta do our bottom lash line. What are we gonna do with that? I'm thinking we use like the neon that's like in the top of my of my eye. Give her a little moment. So I'm thinking B1. I'm thinking we go in with that first. Oh yeah. Guys, these are just so pigmented. These neons, at least, like, so pigmented. Okay, we're gonna go back with this black. We're doing this black right in here. She wants to have a smoky moment. I might even go in with my eyeliner pencil. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in with the eyeliner pencil, too, and, like, really smoke her out. So this liner I actually got from Influencer. This is the Maybelline... Um, tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Pencil Aligner. This is in black. I actually got this to review, and I really do like it. I think it really like is pigmented, and it's easy to apply. I have only used it a couple times. The wear on it seems pretty good. It seems like it does last a decent amount of time. Got the day without like like sinking down to my bottom lash line like running that's the word I'm looking for not sinking I right, ship I'm thinking I'm gonna use okay, I'm gonna use my makeup forever ours color pencil in the shade 602 completely sepia this is by far the best liner I've ever used um I have again convinced Jackie to get this product as well I recommend these to like everybody this is it's just like the prettiest shade it works for my skin tone to like mid medium skin tones. It's kind of lighter on like medium skin tones. And then there's one that's one shade darker than this. That's good for like middle medium skin tones to like deeper skin tones. And then they're like really deep dark um, skin tones. There's a shade, I think like one or two shades darker than that one. That is just gorgeous. Like they have so many different colors and there's like 26 of them different like options to choose from and I believe they're around $16 each I might be wrong on that okay and then NARS stripped you guys know this is like one of my favorites like last year at this time so pretty in this combo this combo though so good and then I'm going to set this with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. All the things. This is all the things to me. I need to be bougie like Jaglyn Hill and get like a fan so I don't look like an imbecile fanning my face. And that is it, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this fun little random get ready with me. Thank you for hanging out with me. It is always a pleasure. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up down below. Um, if you have not already, hit the subscribe button down there as well and subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So how many times do I have to say that, guys? Every video. I think that's about it. <laughs> I will see you all in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.